hi guys welcome to another exciting video a brand new video what a guan so thank you for joining me today so today i'm going to show you how i do my lashes so let's get started So the lashes that I will be using is the Sassy Individual Flared Eyelash and I am using the very fine or small lashes. I don't really like the outrageous looking lash. So I rather to use small lashes to do this. I'm just going to open this package here. And this is how they look. I don't really use the glue in this. I normally use the, the air glue and i am going to use a tweezer to put on the lashes so all you need to do is take out the lashes one by one or probably two by two so i would just hold hold the lash here and i'm going to take out the lashes one by one and i place the lashes on my hand like this I take them out and stick them to my hand. Whenever I place them on my hand like this, it saves me time and energy to go back and forth in picking them from the container that they come. So I'm going to use the bottom row and I'm going to use half of this 10 from here and I'm going to put half on this eye and half on the other eye. So here I put all the lashes on my hand because a little glue is on the container it is easy for it to stick on my hand so i just put them on my hand back for easy access with my eyebrow spoolie i just lift my eyelid and just brush up my eyelash so that they are straight and neat take my glue and i put it on the back of my hand also so it will be easier for me to put on the lashes so I'm going to take the lashes one by one or two by two if you want to go faster. But for beginners, what I do, I take the lash, okay, this is how it looks, and then I just dip it in the glue, like this, that's how it looks. Sometimes I put back the lash on my hand, like this, and turn the tweezer. Turn the tweezer like this. So this is how I hold the tweezer, and just pick, pick up the hair like this. Dip it in the glue. Hold it like this, and then I go to my eye, and then keep your hands like this. You're going to place your hand on your eyelid right here, and then you're going to slightly lift it like this. We're going to just place the ear right there. There. Sometimes I clamp it as I go along, but then sometimes I just clamp it after I place like three or so here. And then I go again. Leave. And just place them. Just place the ear right there. So you dip in glue, dip, take the ear, place it. You're going to lift. And place the hair yep while you're doing this you try to be extra careful not to let the glue get into your eyes right now my lashes are looking a little bit spacey so what I do I lift and I look to see where I can put in some more hair to just to, just to give my lashes some more volume Sometimes I use the back of the tweezer to just press up 
or to press the the eyelash with the glue onto my hair and then I take the tweezer and try to clamp the ear together so I clamp my hair together with the eyelash always remember to clean the tweezer because if you don't do that then the lashes will stick on the tweezer while you're applying them and then as I'm filling in I just clamp clamp the two lash my, la my lash and the fake lash together with the glue when you clamp it allows your lash to stay longer so I'm just looking for space to put these I want my lashes to have more volume so I'm just adding more and more lashes in as I go along you don't have to use this amount it's just your own preference if you want it to be thicker then you can put add more lashes but if you want it to be thin and look natural enough then you can stop or you can just add as you go along so you can stop or you can just add I'm just going to use the entire now for the final one I don't know where I'm going to put this one but let me find if there is any space where I can drop it in. I'm going to put it right there in the middle. I'm going to put it right here. So this is how my lash are looking right now. So what I am going to do is I'm going to take my tweezer and then I'm going to do the final clamping so that my lashes stay like this for a while And then I just use my tweezer to kind of give it a little lift and push it upwards. You can take a small amount of glue on your hand again. And then you can use the tweezer to take up the glue. And you can put some on the, the eyelash here you don't have to do this but I want my lash to stay on very long so I'm putting a little bit of glue on it like that and then I clamp again and then this is where I am going to use my eyebrow spoolie to just brush my brow, brush my lashes. And that is it. This is how my lashes look before. And this is how it looks after so what I'm going to do I'm going to do the other lashes and then come right back so I went ahead and I did my other lash right? and this is how it is looking right now but as you can see underneath my eyes I have small amount of glue there we are all human and we do make mistakes and sometimes we don't get this all perfect but if you get glue there you don't have to worry just draw for your petroleum jelly and you're going to use a small q-tip and dip it in the petroleum jelly 
my nose is like so runny and then you're going to wipe away the glue from underneath your eyes so once you apply it here then the glue is going to be easier then it's going to be easy for the for the, the glue to remove from the bottom of your lid um, this is how my lash is looking right now so that is it So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. This is how I put on my individual lashes. So this is a DIY video. Before we go, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If the subscribe button is still red, that means you have not subscribed to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for joining me. See you in my next video. Bye.